Okay, and I think we can put down for this one. Bloody aggressive. Oh, I don't blame them. They want to be aggressive. So do you think they're getting in and out? I don't know yet, mate. Still a way drive. This is where I could have done with my gloves. Oh, well, will only because. Oh no! Look, at this stage I'll probably kill a few if I do that. I won't worry, mate. Oh, you Thank you. Bear. I just shake my hand. It's off. doggy dog. Mark, sacrifice yourself. Okay. You got it. Yep. Let's wait. Oh, Okay, so you can see with this, we have the masking tape to stop the hive from falling through and we've also sealed the hole there so that when we put the hive on, uh, they're not all going to fly out. Okay, what we need to do what now... with a scale? No, no, just surprising. It feels heavy. What was it? Just hold on. Uh, under 10. It feels really dry. Yeah. So, what's the purpose of weighing? Well, so just so we know, we know that a hive that's ready to split is between like 8 and 12 kilos. It gives us a guide as to how healthy the hive is in terms of progeny, etc. I think they started it's another hive there. They have. That's like a honey collector. And I think what we're going to have to do is dig it all out. Oh, why? Because it's going to go on the top of the next one. And it's but why not just put a hole in the foam box so that they can still access it? Oh, no, 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 no they'll be able to get into there because they'll come up the other side if they're really that anxious. But my inclination is to take it all out, mate. Well, let's not throw it too far away because they can reuse all of that stuff. It's honey. There's a yeah, it is. Yeah, I just broke it. Go away, guys. That's not what Peter was about to say though, was it? Yes it was. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're wearing a hood with little bees that don't sting people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they've gotten out. Oh, OK, well, come over here, uh, oh hero. <laughs> There's a whole... I don't know. Are you sure this was the way to go? Yeah, I'm sure it's the way to go. OK. Why couldn't we just put a hole in the thing and let them no. fly in and out? All right, now we've got to get the lid on. Okay. This will be the tricky thing. Yeah. All right, you reckon you can go? I've got the bottom half. Wow. Oh, that was cool. Yep, go for it, mate. Yep. That's it. Done. Done. All right, I'll push this over the edge. You wind the tape on it. Whoops. Oops. They do buy it. They don't Oh no! Okay, you can smell the honey. Mm. Well, certainly there's a knack to doing it badly, which I seem to have mastered. You don't need to fight. film this bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can stop now, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a triumph of man over beast. What's the tape for? Uh, the tape is just so the two halves don't separate. Until they seal it up, which they will do ultimately, it's to um, ensure that nothing's going to get in from outside. Yeah, no, I had a look at it. Yeah, there was egg mass in the. Uh, there was. But I was a bit concerned. Okay. You can put it back. Hold the weight down on it. Yeah, yeah. They're a little bit angry. I don't know why. Oh, I, come around here. Film this.
That's amazing. I'm just going to leave that here for the bees. So what have you left here? Uh, a bit of the hive that they made in the cavity. We weren't expecting them to. Oh. So uh, what are we going to do with this hive now, that the new one you split off? Okay, we're going to place this on another side. And we're going to place this one on another side and hopefully it'll take. Most of our um, splits do take. And then in two years' time, one or two years' time, we'll come and split it again. So how many have you split so far? Uh, this year we've done yeah. about 20. This one was a hard one because this was an actual wild hive from this area. It came from that tree over there. And we just stuffed it in the box uh, two years ago. Uh, so we weren't really sure about how it was going to go. Okay, so it came from this dead... Yes, yeah, this dead tree. It actually it. fell out. So any little gaps like that, predators will get in? Yes. What the bees do actually, as quickly as they can, they seal it all up. Yeah. But the, the problem is, it's between time they have time to seal it all up and the predators arriving. The hoverflies are the, one of the main predators, and there are hoverflies everywhere. Ants are too, um, which is why normally you oil it the top of the spike every so often, about once a month. All right. So what are you doing now? Uh, putting a foam box on. Uh, the research we've done shows that this foam box uh, will protect the hive against really high temperatures. Temperatures over 40 degrees can be very dangerous for the bees. Okay, well, watch Alan seal the hole first. You're a star, Alan.